Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, um, in, I think it's language art, I'm gonna write a story about, like, cause we were writing short stories, so I wanted to write a story about, like, how people literally live in their own bubble. Okay. I just, like, I was... Like, I was thinking of ideas, and I only have, like, one dad. And, like, I was really excited, and I had that idea. Good. The Mayan calendar. Here's a chance to have a closer look. Oh, yeah, Aaron knows this one. Why didn't he go in the bathroom? He's not going to be out forever. <sighs> Did he get it all done, then? Interesting. What are the symbols here? I'll no. need to redraw them. No, he didn't. Aaron, hurry up! Interesting. What are the symbols? Are we all done with this part? How long have we have to be 18 for? Hello, Victoria. I don't know if they cost anything. I'm always ready to help anytime, Holmes. I'm always ready to help anytime, Holmes. Got a prosthetic leg there. Okay, so let's see if we can go examine the body. I think. Yeah. Might not want to look at it. Oh, I flipped him over already. Okay. This is where the spear entered the body. The murderer aimed for the heart. Oh, These scars are old. It was a powerful throw. The spear pierced no, right through dead. the body. The weapon must have been thrown by a strong and skilled person. It's possible that the link between Zacharias and the curse is at the archaeological club. I'll need a search warrant. Gotta get a search warrant. No, because this is where they open the chest cavity. The coroner mentions in his report some specific cardiac and digestive system damage. What? Hello? No, he was very angry. Traces very of alcohol ungrateful. were found in the stomach. Apparently, Zacharias had been drinking before his death. I think so, too. I think the cooking one is really cool, too, but you have to be 18. Good. We got acid just laying around. Mmm. Nice. Oh, I can't spot. I'm just gonna steal some of these. Well, you can cross my face, but Aaron's in the bathroom, so you might not be able to do it. <laughs> pet, pet. Do not touch my face. I don't know. <laughs> Palette wants to touch my face now. Not the evidence room. Not the bathroom. Good day to you, Mr. Holmes. Good day, but I need to figure out where that guy is. Mm. You go touch the guy's face. I want to go in the staff room. Or whoever's room this is. There's no name. Can I go in here? Aaron! Who do I speak to about a warrant? Yeah, who is that and where? Oh, 
How can I go in it when I want? Oh, what? Before it wouldn't let me go in there. Mother. Not that one. By the way, we found that black cord, which you might want to do before you even try turning that one on because it'll turn the other one on. Right there. Uh, Phoenix found it, actually. Yeah, I told you where it was. Because I didn't look. Aren't you supposed to be investigating those cases of yours instead of bothering me? Good day to you too, Inspector. I have a... Porn stash. Bub. No, no, and no. Fine. I'll take a profile of you, Chief. Uh-huh. Oh, what did, what did you do? Oh, it's like wine, not blood. Yeah, I see that. Hello, oh, Victoria. Right. Yeah. In a good mood, because he's cleaning his gun. That's nice. I did it! Since I'm without the warrant, I should find something else to do. Hello, V! By the way, do you know if Sir Robin is currently in town? I have no idea. And why on earth should you even think that I might know that? Well, I believe I may have solved a case about, let's say, a salacious inspector. No, it's not what you think. Nothing dishonorable happened. Go on then, take your warrant. So, he refused to give you the search warrant? Oh no, I've got it. I won't need you for a while now, Watson. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, Watson. Why do you got the cat? Obviously, he's not asleep now. So, Victoria, we go and get our taxes done on Valentine's Day. Isn't that romantic? Hey, Victoria, all the so guys romantic. We get to find out how much we have to hey, owe. They better offer that $50 up front if I'm going to take my Valentine's Day <sighs> tax office. Take it right to Texas Roadhouse. Oh my god, that would be delicious. I want steak. Because that's probably all we're getting back to taxes. <laughs> the $50 that they gave us up front. They're like, we can't offer it because... You know, all this tax crap. At your service, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> Will you just let him down? Yeah. I don't want him. You can have my tiles. Yeah, yeah. For now. Move. Don't you like my tiles? Not right now. I have a soft child. <laughs> There's fur flying off of him. Sir Charles, I have a search warrant. I would like to take a look inside the clubhouse. Oh no! I see. <clears throat> yeah, they may the not key, matter this year, Victoria. Protest. Hello, Mal. Because it wasn't the deductions that changed so drastically, it was the withholding. I heard that Zacharias was killed by the statue spear. I made more this year than I did last year, and they took out less taxes than they did last year. Yeah, which doesn't make any sense. Zacharias Greystoke. No. So, we'll see. I wonder who this man is. He's a man, man. It's Sir Charles Yellingham, the director of the club. <laughs> Thank you. I'm hoping for the very best, too, because we'll be... 
very unhappy. Guatemala, 1881. <laughs> I don't think this is a bowls tournament. Empty space. The photograph appears to have been faked or damaged. I'll take it. Thanks, Mel. I hope we get pleasantly surprised this year and not, yeah. not negatively, very positive, like looking for positive vibes. Because it seems like everybody and everything has shed on us. So. As well as everybody else as well, so. Yeah. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like too many people are having a great start to their 2019. No. Dear Sir Charles, please be advised that we have successfully transferred a new with that trench to your old account. Payment period is very just blah blah blah. I don't care. All right. Some Bueller's. Bueller. Bueller? We acknowledge receipt of your item, namely 458 grams of solid gold from a part gold Guatemalan statue. We agree to purchase this item. Monies will be paid within 48 hours. The well, transaction is entirely legal. We do assure you that it will remain confidential. Hugs! The fiftieth birthday of Lord Stevenson. Lords everywhere. Lordy lordy. Where are you good? Ah, Sir Charles was once a captain in the guard. Congratulations. Charles Yellingham has a large family. Send everyone back then. Oh, look, <clears throat> Hopefully with this paycheck though I can get a uh, an oil change and back on track is the first thing. Your registration done for your car ever right now is to pay all the overdue bills. <clears throat> that is in the top of the my water list. bill. A message to Sir Charles from Zacharias Graysters, the victim. Damn it. Oh, I'm tired of these headphones. It's not the headphones, it's the cord. Oh, royal parties. Can I be a royal party? Can I have a royal party? Can we do a royal party for my birthday? <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Late and fourth time late. Ah, the club is in debt. Interesting. It appears that the club is unable to pay its debts to the bank. Hey, hey, I feel you, guy. I feel you. Who are you? Handsome. <laughs> did you just call that picture of a woman handsome? I did. And is there a problem with that? <clears throat> I guess not. You're a very handsome woman. Hey, that has been said. The late Mr. Bromsby's collection. So. The late Mr. Blinkhorn's collection. Blinkhorn. What? What's with these last names? The late Mr. Smith's collection. There we go. <laughs> it had to be there somewhere. The Is there a, hor Sutherland's collection. a Hornsby yet? Hornsby. Hornsby. No, not yet. Naked Egyptians. Isn't that the best kind of Egyptians? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> the late Mr. Roberts collection. Mr. Roberts. That's when they ran out of last names. And gave him a first name as a last name. That's how that works. Well, if we get a nice... These antiques look quite valuable. If we get a nice check from our taxes, we'll be paying off some bills. Like, my car could be paid off for. My car is almost paid off for. I just hope that once we pay my car off, that fate doesn't say, okay, well, that's nice that you paid off your car. I'm going to make it take a shit now. Because that seems to happen quite often. It appears that it's a part of a gold statue from Guatemala. Not with cars. Well, Solid with gold. Anything. it is a dodge, so... You know what? I'm going to kick your teeth We'll have to really be like very far. careful. Whatever. <clears throat> I haven't had any issues. <laughs> These trunks have just arrived. 
They're from Zacharias Greystoke's antique on. collection. What'd you say? They're just terrible to work on because, you know, look where the battery's located. Yeah, no shit, behind the driver's side tire? Yeah. It's ridiculous. What? It says I still stuff here. Oh, there it is. Stuff. Did I miss some stuff? And the stuff here. Gotta look for more stuff. Hello, this metal globe is very impressive. It is impressive. Very impressive. Oh, oh look, there's something missing. Some bits are missing. It's missing some bits. Bits and pieces. Hello. Bells. Oh. Gong. Let's see if there's anything I'm missing here. Um. Hello, lads. Oh, it's horrible. Do you think the club will be closed? Oh, it can't oh, be for a second. That was terrible. It's the Matrix. Maybe it was. There's a glitch in the matrix. Hello, handsome. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen from now on. Oh, I gotta do profile you? I already did. Sir Charles, you informed me that you didn't know why Mr. Greystoke was here at such a time. That's correct. I have no idea. Hmm. No. Nope. What's this Shit. supposed to mean? Never mind. Well, Try and pick a different one. Right? And no, oh. at my club. What a disaster for our the, reputation. It was the telegram, Jenny. Well, damn, why didn't you say something? I thought I could do all of them. <clears throat> no. Well, Try talking to him again. Can I go back? A murder. Obviously my club. I can. You'll have to reload. Damn it. What'd you do that for? Boys, go to bed! Oh. Why can't they go to sleep ever? <clears throat> Still think we may have to return this cat. It's defective. Why? Because it plays? Yeah. What's wrong with it? It eats paper? No, it tears paper up. It doesn't eat it. It rips it up. It eats Kylette's hair? It's a kitten. None of the other kittens did that. A murder at my club. What a disaster for our reputation. Well, damn, I can't do it again. Why damn it, Jenny! Up? Damn God it, damn Janet! It. Thanks for saying something. Now you're paying attention to your phone instead. But where I is thought the you statue? had this. Did it vanish? Yeah, it vanished. Crime. I took it. Now what? Poor Sir Charles. A crime at his club. It's a terrible thing. Oh my god, I don't care. Wow. <laughs> now you're really starting to sound like Sherlock Holmes. Well. I just love the mystery. I don't care about any of you people and your petty problems. See, I agree with Victoria. Plus, he's got to get neutered soon. It'd be cheaper just to get rid of him, let them do it, and then adopt him back. No, it wouldn't. It costs more to adopt him. They said it only costs like 75 bucks. To adopt him? Yeah. As a kitten, you would, you're paying like a hundred dollars. It's cheaper to buy a adult cat. If we go and take him to the Humane Society so he can get fixed in his shots, it's cheaper that way. Either way, he's getting his nuts clipped. <laughs>
Oh, look at you. You're all dirty from being back there. Honey badger don't give a shit. Is that going to go against me now that I got it wrong? No. It's going to bug me now. <clears throat> it's going to just say something. I thought you had this. Whatever, Aaron. Don't you whatever. You can't put this on me. Don't you start doing that shit. Analysis. But that's real fur. Okay. It appears that part has been painted over. I need to find out what's underneath. Yes, dear. Do you hear Let's talking in the background? The soft yes. Guy, a one-armed man. Okay, well, I'm done, right? Oh, 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 oh. Uh -huh. there's another person in the photograph. A person. Really? Well, Is I'll be there damned. Anything I can do to help? Look here. Watson, get out of the way. There's a person with a swollen <laughs> eye who was concealed within this photograph. A dispute of some kind, you think, Watson? Possibly. But it appears to me a characteristic symptom of a rare tropical disease that is found in South and Central America. South America? Brilliant, Watson. Happy to help. Is it deadly? Well, there is a chance he survived. I shall ask Sir Charles, but who knows what he'll say. I have an idea. There is only one that? hospital for such illness. <laughs> the Hospital for Tropical Diseases. I have <clears throat> friends who work there. Oh, I have yes. friends who work well, there. Well, the chances are slim, <laughs> but I'll pay them a visit. If he's in London, the they would have seen Hospital for Tropical him. Diseases. Specifically for Tropical Diseases. <laughs> I gotta search. Right here. Oh no! Don't suppose we have any pickles left, do we? I suppose we do not. What year was it? What? Where do I go with uh, this here? No, not <clears throat> not art and architecture. Go back. Go to history. History. Dun, dun, dun. Maya civilization. I'm not gonna read all that. Here it is. <laughs> Here it is. Ha ha. Ha I have found it. Ha <laughs> ha. Ta da! I did it. This is why British people hate us. We're what? always mocking their their accents. Oh. You think so? <laughs> no. I mean, they hate us for many other reasons. <laughs> Search the club lounge. And by yeah. British people, I mean. Sir, not all British people. <laughs> Just the ones that go fat American. Just like that, like they're French but British. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's nonsense. That's me going and offending somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Here, do you want to play? I mean, not, you obviously know what you're doing with these games. This is no. I'll help. I'm here for moral support. You didn't help the last time. I thought you had it. Where's my snacks? <laughs> you didn't ask for any snacks. Feed me snacks. You want a Slim Jim? I guess. Or do you want a Big Jim? Nope. Fat Jim? Nope. Long Jim? Will you just give me a Long John? Jim? You know what? I don't even want one now. <laughs> Such a terrible person. I didn't talk to him. Now I can't see this up here. <clears throat> I found this photograph on your wall. You're in it, but do you know who these men are? Particularly the gentleman with the swollen eye. Hmm. Oh, him. 
But that's oh, poor him. Mr. Albeit. He died from fever during an expedition to Mr. Guatemala. Mr. Albeit. We were searching a Mayan Quiche temple, but everything went wrong. Would when you like some nuts? The and There's the some nuts in there. Disaster. I'm here. They're honey roasted. And here is Zacharias. And then I was going to take him to work tomorrow, but he's over there near the pedestal. By the way, I don't have to. Built that terrible statue. He created it. Oh, must have been ten years ago. I talk to him. Mr. Marley is over there near the statue's pedestal. I don't want to. <laughs> Did you throw away what you were supposed to be? Did I what now? These nuts. The nuts? The honey roasted nuts? What did you just do? <laughs> I didn't realize You threw was nuts all over your lap. <laughs> Jenny! Jenny, you nutted yourself. What is that? <laughs> oh, they're on the floor. <laughs> Jenny nutted herself. Damn it, I didn't know they were open. <laughs> Poor Sir Charles. A crime at his club. It's oh, a it Mr. Bernard Marley, I presume. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have to ask you about an expedition to Guatemala. Shh. Not here. It's too dangerous. I'll give you my card. Visit me there where we can talk. <laughs> what are these supposed to be? Nuts. In a sack. Yeah, well, they got stuff on them. Try one. Put a nut in your mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> kind of spicy. Where yep, head to Grub Street. Go there? Yep. Are these just almonds? Look at that porn face. You know. You know he's so hot, he's smoking. What's wrong with Lude McCrude, Victoria? She's tired of it. Oh no, she's not. You can't open. You can't <laughs> open these nuts. What, what, are, what nuts are those? I don't know. I think they're just nuts. Are they macadamias? Oh, uh, walnut. Oh. Cashew. Ooh, cashews. Cashews aren't nuts. They're awesome. No, they're fruit. <laughs> Technically, they're a byproduct of the cashew fruit. <clears throat> Look, yeah. did you see the Doctor Who door again? Mm -hmm. Behind you? They're everywhere. You gotta walk around the block, so go ahead and keep going. Can I offer my services? You should oh. just run into the old man. <laughs> I'll help you. Oh, God. See, you can even knock on one. Sorry, I'm working. I can't open the door. <laughs> Sorry, I'm working. I can't open the door. What the fuck? What are you doing? Go that way. <clears throat> Not the right thing. <laughs> Excuse me, where is Grub Street? I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's the street going up the hill, not far from here. So I keep just going straight. Can I just knock on all these doors? Knock on all the Doctor Who doors. <laughs> you look mean. Just leave the post on the doorstep. Okay. But I'm not a mailman. They don't have like those little flaps through their door. I give her some post. <laughs> it's 
Excuse me, where is Grub Street? I don't know. Oh, don't know. Just keep going. Not that way. <clears throat> Live the man who sailed to sea. No, it's not that door. You're not even on Grub Street. No, turn around. Go that way. Go down the alley. Keep going. Turn to your left. Turn, turn to your... Grub Street is just there to your right. The foundry is just on the right up the hill. Nothing. He's being drunk and belligerent. <laughs> Pass the guy with the sign and the bell. He's a public nuisance. This guy. He's not even saying anything. He's just like, look at my bell. <laughs> yes. I, it's so magnificent. I don't even need to say anything. There you go. But Aaron, not. I can't get to the cashew. Oh, <laughs> me. Cashew in my mouth. At least it's a fruit and not a nut in your mouth. Hello there, my man. Is your boss in? Ah, oh, he's in his office. It's the door near the female statue in the corner of the workshop. Remember when the guys in school used to do this thing? They'd go... <laughs> You're so lame. Fresh scratches. Are these peanuts? What are these? No, they're not penises. Peanuts. There were two large boxes. Something large and heavy was dragged here. Uh-huh. You know what that is. Mr. Holmes, you must forgive my escape at the club. It wasn't a safe place to talk. And it's safer here? Yes, better here. Not my office. I have secured my foundry, you know. Ah, reassuring. All right, let's profile this motherfucker, shall we? He has a dirty collar, so he's negligent. Maybe. Very superstitious. Patches. Patches O'Hallahan. Oh, Stinky it's... hands. Oh, I was going to say, he forgot to use toilet paper when he wiped. Uh, that's what it looks like. That one. Ouch. Intricate work. Boom! I really do enjoy these Sherlock Holmes games. I really do enjoy watching you eat nuts, too. Did you know Zacharias Greystoke the victim? Yes, he was a brave friend. Such good karma until yesterday. What? Did you want me? The look that you're giving me. What look? Do you recognize the unwell man in this photograph? By Jove, albeit. Yes, that's him. The poor fellow met his end in Guatemala. That was not a cashew. He was struck down by a terrible disease. Nope. You a friend? Not really, but he was an active member and a I courageous I think that was man. a macadamia. <laughs> Too courageous. You can't fight against the PJ gods. And what of the expedition? Crunchy. You were seeking a Mayan temple. Yes, I like the walnuts, but I don't like them in my brownies or banana Another bread. one of Child's is stupid I ideas. agree. We found it, Actually, I don't mind them in banana bread. They're more of a nuisance, though. That prevented us from entering <laughs> yeah. than anything. An evil or it was Tekuman's emanation. We could I do love me some fucking or macadamia cookies, suddenly, though. There was nothing we could do. Chocolate macadamia nut cookies. With Zacharias's death, the curse has reawakened. After 14 years, prophecies are timeless. Even in the beyond, there is no escape. I don't want a fucking almond. <laughs> That's a waste of water! What's your opinion on Takin Uman's statue having disappeared? I don't know, but I have nothing to do with it. Nothing. Mm. 
Um, Down. Yes. Boom. But in fact, you do. You made the statue. That's true. But it was ten years ago. You can't blame me for that. Don't you think so? After all, it is the statue that is responsible for killing. No! It's Takun Umar. But who could imagine that a simple statue replica would be Where chosen that even by Takun Umar? Nobody. Did Zacharias believe in the prophecy? It is not a matter of belief, don't you understand? Zacharias was convinced that we could stop the curse by studying the calendar. What insanity. Hmm. He sent me a message. He wanted us to visit the club and try to convince Charles to remove Fucking the calendar almonds. from the award ceremony. But you didn't go. I knew Charles would refuse. Anyway, oh, studying the calendar wouldn't help. Takun Uman is far though. too powerful. You can eat these right out of the nuts, right? Out of the thing, Your like relationship when they fall Charles out of the tree. Is not friendly. Well, it is reciprocal. Mmm. You know, Has an most oaky of his taste. expeditions are failures because he is too focused on his hypothetical career to be <laughs> in politics. He has political ambition. <laughs> that would be an understatement. He has ambitions for the House of Lords, and the club is his means of achieving this. It's also the reason for his disastrous management. But he still succeeds <laughs> in finding money. I wonder how. I we love, love to I eat some nuts, man. I've got paperwork to do. And I he's spoken too much. He could hear us. Tekun Uman. Well, goodbye then. There's a whole bag of nuts. Whole bag of almonds. Fuck almonds. <laughs> okay. Grace Dog's visit. Nope. Okay. Expedition? I didn't even see. There you go. <clears throat> There's real. No, game. it's not real. We're Sherlock Holmes, not freaking the ancient aliens guy. <clears throat> they take a lot of water just for one almond plant. Are they really? Yes. It. I forget how many. Not for the almond itself, just for the plant. No, uh, they have it. <laughs> oh, by the way, Chris said, fuck you. Why would you do? I asked him if he found out if he was related or not yet. <laughs> <laughs> tell him, did you tell him that I sent my condolences to him? <laughs> I'm, go I'm going to. <laughs> that fucking guy. I'm not, hold on, guys. I'm gonna put away these nuts because. <laughs> put the nuts away, Jenny. Put... I, don't, I don't need to wag them around. S I mean, put those sacks of nuts back where you found them. I gotta them. cover them up and put them away, or they'll dry out. <laughs> oh, oh! I gotta throw away this, or the cat will take it and put it in his water dish. For some reason, he likes wrappers. Ah. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Sometimes you feel like that, sometimes you don't. I hate those fucking candy bars. <laughs> sometimes you don't. Almond um, Joy's got nuts. Mounds, you don't. I fucking hate Almond Joy. <laughs> I love mounds, though. Uh, facts about crime. Mm, I don't know what it is. I'm at the point where I'm just gonna start. So. <sighs> I love you too, Mal. You did see it running away. Yeah, for sure, Mal. My my sweet tooth is definitely different than most. Grace, who names it? <laughs> definitely. Uh, let's see. And guess who the largest supplier of these nuts is? I was gonna tell uh, Mel's wondering related to who. Okay, so there's this there's this guy that likes to show off his muscles. Okay, uh, there's there's a nickname given to him. Not many people like him. So when his coworker, Aaron's coworker, found out that he might be related to the so-called guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> He's texting his family. <laughs> we're, we're making fun of him. He just sent me a picture of his... Of what? He's texting his family to find out if it's true oh, or... Oh, God. <laughs> He's so distraught. He's like, oh my god. Guys, okay, so real. here it is, Jenny. Okay. For one almond, one almond, not a tree, one almond, mm -hmm. it takes 1.1 gallons of water to produce one almond. Really? Yes. I did it wrong. How about a head of broccoli? A whole head of broccoli. You want to know how much water that takes? 5.4 gallons. Well, that's a whole head of broccoli. That'll keep you, you know, <laughs> pooping. <laughs> no, he's. Is he. Uh, is he. He had the perfect opportunity for Sir Charles. Oh, no, Sir Charles is unaware. Oh, okay. I was, I was thinking of that other guy. So, one almond. One almond and one pistachio are almost equal. Looks like we're going to have to start eating more grapes and strawberries, Jenny. That's probably why they're so expensive. Oh, and California is the largest producer in America of almonds. Apparently, Mali has built and they're the driest state. Doesn't that sound like an oxymoron? Yeah. Well, well, why can't they be... There's a lot of things that you could make that doesn't take a lot of water. You know what we're the state for? Besides cheese. Sorry, I'm too busy to chant. Cranberries. That makes a lot of sense, though. So think about it. A lot of lakes and rivers and stuff. <coughs> cranberries. I like cranberries a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Cranberry juice, on the other hand. Oh, too tart. But I do drink it. Like it. See, now this guy. This guy knows what he's doing. Look at him. He's just poking things with a freaking rod. Look no, that's Moriarty. <laughs> right. Anyways, you want to hear how much one orange takes? What? One orange. To produce one orange, it takes 13.8 gallons of water. But, but they're made in Florida. Uh, actually. <laughs> Aren't they from Florida? No, no, they're not from Florida. No, I mean, aren't they majorly grown in Florida? Florida is a major producer, but I think California is bigger. California is the we're America's largest producer of agricultural veggies, fruits, and things like that. Which makes no fucking sense. You wouldn't think so, though. No, because not, they're the dry. They're one of the driest not. states. <laughs> but like, Wisconsin has a lot of farmlands, but we're mostly producers of wheat. We, we we produce. Milk, we cheese, uh, dairy, dairy products. Uh, we lost that title to California years back, but Which, I think we gained it back. Well, they're not really. They're California not is the world's. Not to trigger anybody, but those cows are not happier there. You can't be happy with steroids. They're all rageaholics. California is. What the, the hell is that about? California is the world's fifth largest supplier of food. Now, don't mind him. He's a he's a jerk. The, the fifth largest supplier of food in the world California is. Did you know California as a state is like He's triggering. What is it? Like it's like the third or fourth largest economy in the world. My club. Like just the state alone. Yeah, they do have they do have a lot of land over there though. Yeah, but it's a lot of desert. It is a lot of and it's it's one of the driest states, which sounds like, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here, by the way. So, I heard that Zacharias was killed by the statue. California's Central Valley is where America gets virtually all of its almonds, tomatoes, pistachios, lemons, and artichokes. Fourth largest economy in the world, huh? That's pretty impressive. Yes. As a state, yes. in the United States, it's the fourth largest economy in the world. Oh, I have to search the Club Lounge. Isn't that down? Learn more about Bernard Marley. Oh, you didn't do that yet? I thought you did that. You're at the club? Yeah. Okay, well, just 
Look around. No, no, no. You're in. This is the lounge. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh. I already searched it. I, I must have missed something. Apparently a walnut takes 4.9 gallons. So those will be the first things to go then. What, walnuts? Nuts in general, if they take too much water. They do, which is weird because they're the, the driest, <laughs> right? Yep. Um, but you guys have been having a lot... Mal, has California been having a lot of flooding now? Like, I know you guys had a lot of dry spells, but I thought there was a lot of rain recently. I could be wrong. What am I missing? You you have to leave and come back. But I did. You, so... Uh, go to your map. <clears throat> Okay, I gotta think here. Yeah, that's, that's what I heard. Shit. Um. You think with like the flatlands, like what is it, Oklahoma, and places like that, they would have a lot of farming. But I think because of the tornadoes, they might have some issues. You looked at all of this. I don't know. I don't know about that stuff too much. I guess it should. Let's go back to Grub Street. I've, eat, I've eaten four of these today now. You want mine? that goes on here in Gainesville <clears throat> because of the rain and garbage that's going on. Yeah, we don't have to worry about mudslides, though. No, we do not. Run! And I ran, I ran so far away, I just ran, Oh goodness. I ran all night and day, couldn't bunch, get uh, away. One year. My, my dad is quite a ways away from the river, but he still ended up getting flooded all in his basement. But they were nights and they took, uh... If you're the Parmesan guy from Olive Garden, you're doing it wrong. Since he wasn't in a floodplain to begin with, I think the state had a help in it too. Look at that. Those are big lights, big briefs. On here, where? I think I'd be scared to go live in Florida because of all the alligators. I, I guess I don't. A furnace for melting metal. Crocodiles and alligators, I have both down there. <laughs> Is it one fresh water, one salt water? I don't know much about those. Oh, fuck, I don't remember. Those animals. Oh, why don't I remember? <laughs> I bet. I bet it's humid as shit. <laughs> ah, shit. <clears throat> there we go. A drawing of Takunu A drawing of Takunu. Nope. Open.
No oxidation. This metal arm has never been outside. It's not part of the bowling club statue. I have relatives down south in Arkansas and stuff, so when we visited, it was humid. This mechanism oh is God, quite modern. Bad. All the gears are of good quality. Strange to find to it in a foundry. Two large boxes which were inside the warehouse. They were taken to Bernard Marley's office. It's probable that the missing crates contained pieces of Takunuman's statue. Marley is hiding something inside his office. I'll have to visit it, but at night, and with Watson. Ah! Sorry, I'm too busy to chat. Okay. I bet it's hot as balls in that factory right now, too. Did I say something wrong? It's hotter than my nutsack on a Sunday when it's fucking 102 outside. <laughs> it's so funny that he sent you that... the conversations. You wanna know what he said? <laughs> he goes... Are the guys at work just being mean to me, or are we related to Corey somehow? <laughs> Somebody sends back, why, what is going on? It was just stupid rumors, but it made me wonder. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm worried I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta say, I was fucking with him. I mean, it is one big Every time Corey shows up on a job that I'm at, he walks up to me. Chris walks up to me. He's like, hey, your buddy's here. Well, now you <laughs> have an excuse to be like, I had to do it. <laughs> Caitlin's up as Alice is playing the piano. She disobeyed me. Well, Holmes, I was inspired to... Oh, look here. The postman has made a mistake. <laughs> He's delivered a letter addressed to Miss Alice. Oh, he mistook 221B for 221C. Give it to me, oh, Watson. Well, you can't play jokes now? Oh, we're all done. The stream's done already? Jeez. Okay, then. I guess we'll come back on Wednesday. Look at Toby. I do hope that bone has no connection to Watson's medical practice. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Alright guys, Wednesday, we'll be back. More Sherlock Holmes. This game is long as shit. <laughs> it is, for real. But, we'll get through it. <laughs> of course it is! It has to be. I mean, that's the whole reason why we stream. <laughs> it's the whole reason. So I'll see you guys Wednesday. I hope you have a good night. Love you guys. Bye-bye! Aaron's in the bathroom, he says bye!